Hello everyone and welcome back to another reaction. This time we'll be doing something quite different. I don't imagine I will be doing this too often. Today we are reacting to the Napoleon movie trailer. This is a brand new movie coming up this fall. And uh, I'm really looking forward to seeing the movie. But of course we are looking at the trailer. I'm going to do a bit of a breakdown and see what we can glance from uh, this uh, short three two three minute video so without further ado let's get going no doubt you're sending ah yes um france 1793 i imagine this is the execution of Marie Antoinette it happened on uh, happened in October 1793 at the Place de la Révolution and uh, known today as the Place de la Concorde yeah well she rode in an open carriage she was denied the dignity or that her husband got he got a closed carriage so Marie Antoinette of course was probably more hated than the king was and was denied that privilege, if you want. Um, yeah. No doubt you're seeing the chaos in the streets. We must make an example, or France will fall. What would you do if this assignment of defense was transferred to you? Uh, yes. This is the famous moment in Napoleon's career where he puts down a royalist insurrection on the 13th Vendemire of the revolutionary calendar. That's the 5th of October 1795. And uh, he uses his famous whiff of grape shot to disperse the royalist insurrection here. And he had some help. He helped ask the, a future marshal Joachim Murat to bring him 40 cannons and he did which allowed Napoleon to establish uh, effective uh, an effective perimeter and uh, fields of fire for his artillery and he was successfully able to hold off a numerically superior uh, force or until it uh, dispersed really and uh, this led to the establishment of the French directory the form of government between 1795 and 1798 in France and he was given command of the army of Italy which was the jumping off point for his career so this was an important moment of history that is not really remembered I promise you brilliant successes Costume. Yes, uh, Napoleon met uh, his future wife and empress Josephine at a society ball in, I believe, um, well, I don't know the date exactly, I think it was 1795, and it was a ball arranged by Paul Barras. Barras was uh, the president of the directory, that is to say the government of France, so he was basically the chief of executive of France at this point and Josephine was the lover of Barras at uh, this point but uh, you know Napoleon and Josephine would hit it off somewhat it's a complicated relationship to say the least I won't go into it right here but suffice to say it's um it has some twists and turns throughout the years well this is my uniform I led the French victory at Toulon. I'm not sure what this is. Uh, this might be the siege of Toulon, where Fran uh, where uh, Napoleon used cannons to get the British ships out of harbor. But this looks a bit more destructive than it was in reality. So I'm not entirely sure this is it. What is your name? Napoleon. 
as the course of my life just changed. Okay. Yes. Yes, this is a. Here we see Napoleon's expedition to Egypt in 1798. Ostensibly, the expedition was conducted to defend French trade interests and establish uh, scientific uh, enterprises in the region. Uh, here we probably see a depiction of the Battle of the Pyramids that took place on the 21st of July, 1798. And that is where the main Mamluk army was destroyed uh, by Napoleon. And to do this, he used divisional square tactics, where he formed up his divisions in giant squares, and the Mamluk cavalry was unable to break through. And uh, yeah, they got started, basically. Though I'm pretty sure they did not hit any pyramids. In fact, the battle took place quite a distance from the pyramids. You could see it on the horizon, apparently, but... Uh, it, yeah, Napoleon like named it the Battle of the Pyramids to sound, uh, you know more um, historical perhaps i'm destined for greatness but those in power will only see me as a sword i suggest you take the throne as a king on. shall we vote Yes, this is probably a depiction of the coup of 18 Beaumont where Napoleon seized power he had gathered the, so the Legislative Council, the Council of 500, in the Palace of Saint-Claude, outside Paris. And here he used uh, the military to uh, storm the council, forced them to dissolve the directory, establish the French consulate, establishing himself as the first consul of France. And uh, this was a very messy affair, but, uh, you know, Napoleon was able to eventually seize power. Yes, uh, Napoleon's coronation took place on the 2nd December 1804, um, and Josephine was also crowned at this moment. It was uh, an interesting ceremony. It was a mix of French and Roman coronation rites blended together to create something new something unique. The religious Catholic influences was pretty minimal, but Pope Pius VII was invited to the ceremony. However, he did not perform the anointing, which he traditionally would have done with other emperors and kings throughout Europe. But uh, Napoleon would, uh, wouldn't accept the Catholic Church's supremacy over him, and so uh, Pope Pius was basically relegated to sitting behind him at the coronation. Napoleon, of course, crowned himself. He crowned Josephine. So, yeah, um, very interesting ceremony that we could get into some other time. I also see that uh, uh, Josephine is played by Vanessa Kirby, who also played Princess Margaret in The Crown, if people remember, season one and two. Uh, fantastic actress, and uh, she will surely do a brilliant job in this role as Josephine. This vermin has held the world hostage. Uh, yes, let's go back here a bit. Uh, yes, this to me seems to be the Battle of Waterloo, 1815, where Marshal Ney led, famously led a large number of French cavalry to you know, a uh, route or, you know, hunt down Wellington's troop, which he believed was retreating. Now, in reality, beyond the ridge, they had formed up in uh, these infantry squares, which are quite impenetrable by cavalry. So they circle around impetuously until they were shot from their saddle, basically. And yeah, it uh, was a huge tactical blunder by Marshal Ney. Uh, in this battle and caused the directly contributed to the defeat hostage with his egotism and his lack of simple good manners i don't know who this is uh, dressed in red might be wellington
that it is nothing without me. All of Europe is uniting forces. Of yeah, so let's have a look at this. Uh, Napoleon famously like to use enormous maps, and he actually walked around like this on his map. So this is accurate. Forces against me. What's the outcome of this if you don't succeed? I believe this might actually be the famous French charge at the Battle of Eilau, where 10,000 horsemen led by Marshal Mioha uh, famously stormed the Russian positions in an attempt to rescue the army's uh, center, which was in the process of collapsing at this point in the battle. I believe it might be this, because uh, it's quite. It must have been a very impressive display, to say the least. Your Majesty, we are discovered. Good. Nice. It's a yes, uh, I believe that this is the Battle of Austerlitz, 1805, where Napoleon, at the end of the battle, famously ordered artillery to smash the ice with cannonballs. It's the only instance of this happening I can remember, so I'm pretty sure this is uh, a reference to this. To admit when I make a mistake. I simply never do. Okay, that was the trailer. Um, very impressive stuff uh, already. I can tell that this is going to be a great movie. We ha oh, have a severe lack of 19th century war movies. And... Napoleon's rise to power and his career is such good movie material to begin with. I cannot conceive why uh, more hasn't been done on this topic before. But I'm really looking forward to seeing it this fall. So uh, let me know what you think about this trailer. And, uh, and if you liked the video, leave a like, subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.